Hey guys, and welcome to uh, the Wednesday Dev Hangout. Um, got some cool things to show you today, um, including the uh, sort of preview, if you like, of the Dwarven City kit. Uh, still a lot of work to do on it, but it's it's starting to come together, uh, as you can see. Um, we have Alpha 21 is imminent. Um, we, were, we were a little bit delayed by just over a week um, just because of some team vacation time. Uh, and Dev Blog 35 uh, is almost finished and that should follow almost at the same time, I imagine. Uh, but maybe slightly after. So, what have we got in today's stream? So, we're going to have a look, quick look around at this uh, Dwarven City and some of the work that we've been doing on that. Um, as I say, it's very much in progress at the moment. Uh, I, we're not going to ship this with Alpha 21, but it's very likely we'll ship it with Alpha 22. Uh, the reason why we're going to do that is because we'll also have some Dwarven characters coming along that they've been going through production. Um, and hopefully we can add a couple of characters into the level and provide it as a, a work in progress map. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, today we'll also have a look at uh, the evolution of the portrait system. So we've been doing some work on that, uh, and we've we've got uh, something that's acceptable anyway. It's not fully complete, but it's certainly acceptable. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at Sir Gregory, who's in the middle of our scene here, uh, and. He, his uh, fifth ability, Decisive Victory, has now been added. Uh, we'll take a look at Mead and the revised Mead and the Monastery and Tavern and Entertainment. Because that is now fixed, uh, we've had to do a bit of rebalancing there. Um, but that was one of the major sort of gameplay issues that was reported over the last couple of months. So that is now fixed, um, along with the seeds issue. Um, we now have automatic uh, seed planting, as I'm sure many of you now know. Uh, we'll, uh, when we have a look at Sir Gregory's uh, ability, we'll also have a look at some beetles. They're not quite working at the moment and their faction isn't set correctly, so they're going to end up fighting with the skeletons uh, in the uh, crypts map. Uh, another thing that we have added, uh, actually it came up and it was a real quick one to add, if I just jump in here, we've added a slider now to the sound settings so you can control ambient sounds, so things like tweeting birds and howling wind, so if you think that's too loud, uh, then you'd be able to adjust that now. And so that was real, real easy to add in that one. Uh, let's see what else we've got. got too many lists. Uh, I'll also give you an update on the um, terrain generation tool that's part of the editor. Uh, that is not coming yet. It's actually been worked on. Uh, it's actually been worked on in Unity 5, but I'm hoping that we can include that again with Alpha 22. Uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. Uh, so let's have a quick look around here. We'll just set. Uh, Camera speed to something a bit slower. Uh, so what we've we've been working on, we've been getting the lava sorted out. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the stream, but there's a little bit of heat distortion going on. Uh, we've got lava falls. It's a little bit orangey red at the moment, uh, and it blows it blows out. Uh, in some areas, so the lighting needs tweaking. We do, I believe, have some Dwarven statues. I'm not quite sure why they're not in uh, in this little preview, but we do have them. Uh, and we've got a just spin around. And we've been, made some uh, furnaces, and we've got all these lava channels that are flowing between, well, all over the place. We've got these sort of uh, stone walls because we are inside a, a volcano here. Uh, and I must remember to keep looking at chat because uh, somebody mentioned it in uh, the forum this week. And especially since Half Voxel isn't here, 
uh, to a few questions, so I do need to keep an eye on chat. So if you do have a question for me, please put at Games Foundry, uh, and then it'll highlight. And if I don't answer your question, then just post it again, you know, a couple of minutes later, and I'll hopefully spot it. Okay, so all of these are uh, designed to snap together. So we have continued uh, our recent new practice of uh, providing combined pieces so that if you have like a wall section, you don't have to keep messing around with uh, the, the top trim, the bottom trim, and the wall parts and things like that. So we also, I mean, while you can mess around with those yourself, we also provide them uh, as combined pieces so that uh, that should speed up the process of, of making different parts of the map. And of course, it's all uh, designed to snap together. Uh, okay, so question: the hit particles at the bottom needs some work. The hit, the hit particles. Oh, I think you mean heat. Maybe. Uh, oh no, these here, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a massive fan of those either. Uh, it doesn't look right at the moment, but yeah, it's it's work in progress anyway. You see, and like the lighting's are a little bit off, and this is blowing out if you zoom down and yeah so there's all sorts of issues is it which is why we're not shipping it in alpha 21 but it gives you an idea of where we're going anyway okay lots of questions coming in um Can use theatre mode to get chat on screen. Yeah, the way I have it set up is, is different. So I have my main PC that's streaming the game, and then I actually have the chat on a laptop in front of me as well. Uh, I think I ask about DirectX 12 every time I am here. Uh, but you're upgrading to Unity 5, DirectX 12 compatible, 7% more draw calls. The future is now. Are you? going to take advantage of this <laughs> I think we, I think we have to wait until it's available in unity before we can actually evaluate it uh, it depend uh, it depends uh, I would love to take advantage of it it depends on the impact on DirectX 9c and I mean the step up to DirectX 11 required quite a few shader modifications uh, I, at this stage I don't know enough about DirectX 12 we're just waiting until it comes available in Unity, and then we'll see. Uh, Derbykin says, you could slow down the lava flow. Uh, it's a little fast flowing. doesn't usually move that fast, just saying. <laughs> uh, yes, but if it's falling vertically, it would fall rather fast. Okay. So let's go ahead now and um, we'll just zoom down. Let's get your orders. So Gregory just out of that red cloud. Mine is to obey. Zoom down to him. Nothing to see. Let's bring the UI back in. Okay, so we have decisive victory, it's added in now. There's no target at the moment, so we'll just fire it off. <laughs> So what that does is it's like a finishing move. So if, well, you can see the description there. Uh, if the attacking target has uh, below 30% health, there is a 100% chance to instantly kill that target. Otherwise, it will inflict um, 40 physical damage. And that's at level one. So let's do that again. Maybe from a different angle, that might be better. Okay. Oh, all the questions are coming in thick and fast now. Um, okay, no direct questions as such. All right. Just waiting for his uh, power to recharge. I think for Sir Gregor, we will probably implement some sort of rage system rather than it being power based. Because power comes from the mind stat. Well, when you're leveling up Sir Gregory, you're unlikely to put points into mind. So, 
uh, it's probably, you know, that's why games add like a rage stat in there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll include this map with Alpha 22 so that uh, the level designers among you can have a, a look at how pieces are intended to be put together. Uh, there are no colliders on this at the moment set up so they can go through it. Yep, so that's the start of the lava zone. So this is an interior, so this is actually inside uh, Mount Brenner, which is a volcano, and this is uh, going to be <coughs> um, part of House Hron, uh which is spelt slightly funny. Uh, but these are where the dwarf faction are, and this whole story uh, planned out. Uh, and you, yeah, so that, that's all coming. So this this is really content and storyline that will be recorded in terms of voice acting. Uh, I don't know, tail end of this year, I would say. Um, our priority at, at the moment is to get the questing and storylines up for the Glade Folk and the Withering Dead. So as soon as we've got Alpha 21 out of the door, I'll be working with the voice actors and recording the script for that so we can start putting that together. A couple more co uh, questions coming in. Uh, if we change... Uh, Sir Gregory's shield, will that... If you change Sir Gregory's shield... Oh, right, if you change Sir Gregory's shield, will that be reflected visually? Yes, it should be. Um, there may... The weapons that we've got and shields that we've got in at the moment might not be uh, correctly configured. We've got a whole batch of loot items, so weapons and shields that are making their way into the game. I don't think they've been fully configured at the moment, but the reason why we're putting those in is so that Sir Gregory can have some uh, upgrades in loot available. So that is happening, it just might not be happening right now. But yeah, you should be able to... Um, I'm just trying to think if I could show it. No, I don't. I can't show that because I'm not sure which shields are in at the moment. Uh, let's zoom out. So let's see. Show love. Show lava kit, please, like the rocks below. No, not in the stream. We've, the reason why I say no is because we've actually disabled it, um, ready for Alpha 21. So I couldn't, uh, not easily anyway. Well, I say easily, not something I wanted to do during the stream. Uh, did you say that hero units would have gear actually show up on the characters? I know it won't on normal units. Um, no, so it's the same, it's consistent throughout. So it's weapons and shields will show, but armor will not change. Uh, also, have you thought about at least having with uh, the light, medium, heavy armor variant of each unit? Uh, no, we haven't at the moment. So right now we're focused on getting the core content and gameplay done and finished. Uh, and then once all of that is finished, then we can go ahead and look at our wish list uh, and start working on all of those. But it, it would uh, not be sensible to sort of get drawn off and distracted working on sort of nice to haves when we haven't completed the core aspects of, of the game. But that that point referred to if we, uh, I think it was a suggestion several streams ago to have uh, a light armor, a medium armor, and a heavy armor, um, so it could show on hero units. Um, it was, and it was an interesting suggestion, but it's on the wish list rather than uh, on the core functionality. Uh, okay, did you do the male peasant voice of Simon? No, I didn't. <laughs> My yup sounds very similar. Yup. No, I didn't. It, it wasn't me. Wasn't me. Any idea of the approximate try count for this scene? Um, no, I don't. It's uh, without opening that up and having a look, I couldn't tell you. Sorry. Okay. Let's go ahead and 
and jump back to the main menu. And I think we will jump into, very quickly, let's jump into the grips map. You called. Okay. By your leave. Let's go ahead. Take Sir Gregory. Mine is to obey. Let's get his this is buggy at the moment. So the sound, I mean, I should actually turn the sound up. Just bear with me a second. So let's turn that one down and turn the in-game volume up. Your orders, as you command. Okay. Orders received. For order! Our village is under attack. <laughs> So I know the sound, some of the sound effects aren't triggering on these special abilities. I've notified the programming team anyway. Double time. Quick march. All right, let's see if we've got. Tis an honor. We do. To victory. We've got these little dungeon beetles in there. Arm yourselves. They're they're not totally finished at the moment because they don't have like their death splatter in there. to see some half to quarter transitions in core tiles. <clears throat> Let's come back to that. Just remind me of that when we're having a look at the terrain randomization. Okay, so anyway, we've got beetles in there as well and the zombies, uh, although their motion is a little bit buggy at the moment. All right. Oh, we've also got several new skeletons coming in Alpha 22. So, like, a uh, skeletal champion as well, and, and uh, <clears throat> some different tier skeletons. All right, what I want to come into now... Well, let's talk... Uh, since we're on the subject of uh, tiles, core tiles, let's have a look at uh, one of the terrains that is generated by the terrain randomization uh, tool. Now this is a tool that is in development. We are uh, currently working on uh, trees, so it is a bare terrain. But the purpose of it, just to remind you, is to um, reduce that sort of initial 20 hour lead time of, of creating a full 40 by 40 terrain with placing the tiles. So you just basically hit a key. Uh, in fact, probably what I will do is let's go back to the main menu and open it in the editor so it has numerous settings that you can choose from in terms of the style of terrain whether you want mountainous or in a valley or that sort of thing <clears throat> and then we'll also add settings for like how many rivers you want actually that's already in um, like tree density and things like that so I'll talk through, let's just open one of the maps and we'll have a quick talk about some of the things that it will do. Uh, while we're doing 
that. Let's go ahead and get some music. Okay. And just ignore the painting issue on that. It's a known issue. So all of this is generated by the terrain randomization tool. So it will be a button that's up on the top bar. Uh, when you click that, it will give you some options that you can tweak to set the type of terrain that you want to generate, uh, including like the biome uh, and tree density, as I said. And then you uh, will click generate. You'll have a little progress bar that you can cancel if you don't want it to do it. Uh, and then it's reasonably quick, so it takes about five seconds to generate the whole map on my uh, my PC. That will, of course, vary depending on how good your PC is. Um, let me just go ahead and have a look. So it's got lake generation in there. Uh, it also has uh, some smart river code so that rivers uh, are sticky towards cliff edges so they, they don't meander like this. Uh, this one doesn't sort of meander up here and around here and around here and then down there it, it does actually get attracted towards the edge because rivers find the path of least or water finds the path of least resistance uh, of course here it, well it hasn't here but uh, this is the lake code so you can get masses of water you can set oh you, that's another thing you can set the uh, sea height as well some of this code's been worked on to prevent it doing this, so it should actually come across there. Okay, I've got questions coming in. Could you add well? So could you add more core tiles? We're it, it's been considered um, to get more, or should I say, smoother terrain. Then we do need more tile transitions, and now that we have a core kit, it's certainly possible to add more. Um, so it is something that we are considering. Uh, question, will the Glade Folk Undead campaign be the first one to be implemented? Yes, it will be. Okay, so what else does it do? It also sets uh, the ocean and will generate your shoreline for you. And it's also doing the sort of dappled uh, grass. If I should come down, turn on grass now. Uh, I think there's a couple of bugs at the moment in terms of floating grass. I don't know, it might have been fixed. So what we're adding now, of course, is adding trees, and that should... Well, when you add trees, it looks it looks a lot better. This is sort of just the base terrain. But yeah, you can, as I say, there are different terrain types that you can create, and it's just a matter of finding one that you like, and then, you know, uh, going ahead and, and editing that to the way that you want it to function. Um, once this is finished and integrated in, the next step um, for Alan, our, uh, the guy who is building this, our programmer, one, another programmer, uh, is to work on control points, a control point system, so that you can actually raise and lower terrain. Now, it's not going to be perfect, because look, uh, let's just have a look at one particular aspect over here. If I, for example, and it'll work on the corners of tiles, so uh, just imagine sort of dots, like a night, uh, three by three grid of points with the center one. So I can uh, click Oh, sorry, I can enter terrain sculpting mode and then I can click on when, I, when I've got uh, the correct vertex highlighted and then I can move it up and down. The only issue is, is if, if I was to choose this vertex here and then move it up, it would ruin this um, and we can't regenerate the river. Uh, it's not worth the time investing the time in working in producing a river solver not when you can literally go in and delete a few tiles. So, I mean, let's say it just deletes a few of these and puts grass down instead. Then, you know, it's it's relatively easy just to go ahead and actually reroute your... Alright, so I did it, you know, stupidly quickly there, but... 
rather than investing months on the river solver, there are far more important things that we can spend our time doing than that. So um, there are some things, as I say, that it won't do, but it's it's really about the process is randomize your terrain until you get something that you, you're happy with. Um, then you can go in and start modifying it and messing around, and then there'll be a little bit of manual patchwork just to patch up areas that you're not happy with. So, you know, it's very possible that I might get some areas like this, so you just need to go in, do a little bit of manual cleanup, which will normally be, you know, duplicating some tiles that are nearby, and then just doing the paint job. Right, that's really quick anyway. So if you think about how long it takes you at the moment to create an entire terrain uh, and how quick this should be to give you at least a, uh, a starting position to work from, then that should be a significant time saver. But I'm really pleased with it. It's got all the different heights in. You've got full height, half height, and quarter heights in there. And you've got the hills go up here this is the hills tile now obviously if we add more core tiles then this can also generate and support more variation in that so do let us know your thoughts on that and any any possible like settings that you might like to see included uh, and we can certainly consider that okay What's next on my list? All right, I think we should jump into gameplay and have a look. Uh, so let me fade out the music. All right, so let's go ahead and play the easy map. No, the, the, for launch it will be humans exclusively. Uh, and if the game does well, then we'll consider our options. Okay, let me just check the settings. Alright, we're good. Yep. So the first thing to do... Uh, I want the to just look has into, been the, constructed. into mead now, so let me... All right, Just go ahead and get these All guys right, working. Hmm. My pleasure. Get some berries. Another thing that I've changed, I've changed the default starting angle of the camera uh, a little bit, so it's now facing a little bit further down. That should help with performance uh, for new players, because it's not rendering drawing objects that are off screen. That are not off screen, so your horizon is lower, so you're drawing less objects and that ultimately will help uh, performance on GPU limited machines. All right, uh, I'll probably cheat on this because I don't want you guys to sit there while I go ahead and do this, so. Yes, my dear. What now? Let's give ourselves some resources. And I better make sure that they're okay for food, so we'll have fishing hut. I tend to always place these in the same place, and no reason, it's just a habit from testing. Uh, let's get windmill up and go uh, up and running. Construction completed. Probably what I should do is get a cottage. How can I help? You guys can work on that. We don't have enough planks to do that. Yeah, what we do now. So I'm just I'm just sort of speed playing through, cheating and getting some buildings up. Okay, another question: Will there be Games Foundry swag we can purchase to help promote the game? Uh, there's well, we're meant to be doing T-shirts. Uh, Building complete. That'll, that'll probably be about it. I don't know. At the moment. We just I've not thought too much about that. Our focus is entirely on making the game.
New settlers have arrived. Uh, you can't now destroy this. You see, that was another fix that we made. So some, if you remember, if you deleted the supply wagon, it was you basically screwed your game up. So we've fixed that now. So you can't d destroy it. I'm not going to click it just in case it's a bug, but a building has <laughs> been constructed. As far as I remember, you can't delete either your last supply wagon or storehouse. All right, so hopefully we should start getting some more villages soon. So let's go ahead, place a monastery down, and some bee yards. Construction completed. I don't know. I'll put two bee yards down. Well, of course, we'll need a tavern, won't we? So let's get a tavern down. Get some more resources. Cheating. And let's put. Building a completed. There. A building has tavern, been constructed. So for Alpha 21, we have uh, we've fixed quite a lot of things. We made sure we addressed, you know, the, the glaring issues, which were um, seeds, construction, and, and renewable completed. wood, mead, uh, and the new villages have arrived. Looking at the patch notes. Oh yes, uh, sickness as well. So we've disabled type Building two and complete. three sickness, which was killing off a lot of people's villages. So that should become less frustrating now. Uh, and you will only get the announcement of a disease Our outbreak has if you don't new if you don't have any medicine in stock. Something to do on my way. So it just you know sort of small tweaks. All right, so. While we've got this up, let me also talk. A building has been constructed. So it's daytime. We've increased the yield of bee yards now, so I think they generate uh, 24 honeycomb, I think. But 30 are required. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, tw oh, all right, 23. I guess that's. I'm not very happy. I should probably have more peasants, really. Ten's not enough, so this is going to be unbalanced. And that's the problem with cheating, is that you end up generating a set, a set of circumstances that is not reflective of actual gameplay. So let's go ahead and build a lot more. Did I get a bakery? I don't believe I did, did I? Construction completed. Uh, David, oh, have you have you addressed Building the issue completed. with stuck peasants' villages in certain terrain features? <coughs> uh, perhaps the ability to delete the character if stuck. There was one issue that we fixed, which was to do with sending villagers. They seemed to get. It seemed like they were getting stuck outside cottages when you wanted them to go and cut wood. Um, but it wasn't just cottages, so we fixed that. The building has been constructed. Um, there are still some features, like the the goblin area in the medium map has a few issues. All right, my love. Uh, let me make sure that these guys are all okay for food. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. Construction completed. 
Okay. Now, while we've got this uh, up and running, let's just see if we should... Actually, what we need is a, an innkeeper. So let's get one of those trained. So let's have Rosie and Gavin. And they should start collecting. So we've got the production is up and running now. Uh, we don't have enough. So production is currently stopped. But we have five barrels of mead produced. Uh, they will get carried New settlers have arrived. by the innkeeper. Yep. So this is our first innkeeper, and he is working. Uh, Gavin the Hairy is working his way back to the tavern with the first barrel. Now, one of the issues that we had in uh, previous builds, like the one that's on Steam, uh, yes, is that peasants wouldn't actually, or the need for entertainment wouldn't actually begin until your culture score passed a certain level. Well, if you built a tavern and monastery before that, then you would be left wondering uh, what you know, why are people drinking? Um, so now we start that as soon as, uh, just trying to think whether it's when you get your first mead or whether it's when you build the tavern. But anyway, they should start drinking mead. Now, one of the bugs that we spotted in the last round of testing was, was that they were buying mead from the supply wagon, and I well, New actually wanted them have arrived. to buy it from the tavern, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, let me make sure we have food. So we've got bread, good, and we've got salmon steaks. Bread, salmon steak, good, so we've got meat and protein, and we should have some vegetables soon. Good. Okay. So Our village focus. has attracted new settlers. On meads, we've got 24 that will continue to grow. 28. Now, peasants do drink quite a lot. <laughs> they actually sort of drink anywhere between 8 and 12 tankards of ale when they're really thirsty. Let's keep an eye on that. Doesn't seem to be instant, which is odd. I wonder if thirst goes down really slowly. Anything needs brewing? All right then, but I can't be long. Hmm. All right, well, let's demote. I don't think we need we need you. Let Rosie do Happy work. Happy to serve. Rose, not Rosie. Rose. You have no woodcutter. Yeah, but I'm cheating, so it doesn't matter too much. If I want wood, I can just dump it into my stores. Okay, uh, welcome on to workbench. Um, let me just think. So yes, portraits. Let's just swap back to daytime because it's a bit easier to see. Yes, petal. I think in the last stream, can't remember right, exactly. Maybe it was showing bald people or whether they got hair. All right, my love. Um, can anybody remember if I showed uh -huh. hair tinting and mustaches and things like that in the last stream? So anyway, we've, we've moved yes, on to, from that. So we now have uh, hats. Now, quite a few professions have hats. Uh, oh, right, my love. So we have the baker's hat. Although she's currently missing her hair because yes, the ha her hair's not in. Uh, let's try and find somebody else. That's a baker as well. Farmer. Farmer work to be done. Crops to be sown. Okay. So we've got the farmer's hat in. Now, what I mentioned that it wasn't complete at the moment. So what we don't have in are the uniforms. So obviously the farmer should have like a green, a green uniform on. Um, they are being illustrated now, uh, but we are very, very close to the release of Alpha 21. So uh, they will be added for Alpha 22. But yes, the portrait can. is a, a pretty decent hmm. uh, How can I help? reflection of the character now. Uh, so if I actually bring right, her over dear. here, she should have pale skin and yeah, she's just so she's just missing her hairstyle at the moment, <clears throat> which we'll also add in. But she's got a hat on. I sort of maybe I need to train. Oh, of course, all right. There's a woodcutter. Let's go ahead and get a woodcutter. Uh, let's build a herbalist. Not enough planks. Let's 
go ahead. Herbalist. Yep. Yeah. So there's Daniel Puce with his sort of bandana, bandana hat on. We've got black, black uh, goatee and a tash. So yeah, after what well, a long, long time of looking at the bald peasant placeholder, we can finally have personalised portraits. How can I help? Building yep. completion. Yeah, we've got a fish down there. He's got a beard. My pleasure. Uh, are building insides still under consideration? Um, they are, but they may also get the chop. It depends, as I say, on what the memory profile is of a full game when you've got a full village. <clears throat> How can I help? Right away. Villagers are in need of vegetables. All right, dear. What now? Mail as well. My pleasure. The, the face there. Uh, port on my not way. portrait. Their visual appearance changes when you cha when you train somebody at the moment. It's not been carried over, um, but it's just not been implemented yet. So you'll like a, if they've got a beard before they go in, they'll come out looking different. So it's just a known issue. Um, it's just a cosmetic one. All right. So I am uh, I'm pleased about having that in. Let's see and check how we're doing on our ale. So we've got one barrel in and 22, which means they must be drinking it. So let's keep an eye on the tavern. What do you fancy? Well, we also want to keep an eye on the supply wagon and see where they're consuming ale from. Something to do? Going to drink some mead. So she must have bought some mead. Uh, it's things like not we don't have the right animation for drinking mead at the moment, um, and the role of the tavern will change slightly to become more of a nighttime venue. But that's all in the future. Any requests? Okay, so she's going to buy some mead. So I, you know, in future we'd obviously like them to come up here and sit down and drink the mead, and, you know, like that. Yeah, character, like <laughs> I don't, well, a number of people commented on the fact that it, you know it was always the male bald peasant that yep. was there. Um, mm. Yes, my dear. So it was high mm. time we did something about it. All right, so uh, production of me should stabilize, and our entertainment value should start going up. Okay. We've also, or we are also recording the drunk lines for drunk conversations, so that should be interesting when we get that in. Yeah, some of them are. Uh, let's find somebody with a hat. So yep. some of them don't have. Uh, their what now? profession specific hairstyles. Let's find like the uh, I know the herbalist for one. I mentioned that earlier in the stream that they don't have. Let's find you. Something to do? Oops, no, not you. All right, my love. I hear you. So right her hair okay. is currently missing. Uh, and any profession that has hair showing. I need to show, slow the camera down. Sorry. A woman's work is Any done. profession that has uh, a HUD, well, a, a specific occupational hairstyle, so as the herbalist does, they are currently missing the hair. So, as I say, it's not perfect at the moment, but it gives you a pretty damn good idea. Uh -huh. What can I get you? Uh, Yep. It's literally gone in uh, yesterday. Hmm. The female. What now? Yes, variants. And the males went 
No, the females went in this morning, the males went in yesterday. Yeah. Because any occupation was coming out bald. Because yeah, because the hairstyles aren't done, so we had to make sure and get the yes, hat done. So we, that was a bit of a rush job. But Jen our illustrator did a fantastic job and worked a little socks off and now uh -huh. we have hats for everybody. Mm. So there shouldn't be oh well, that's interesting. Oh yeah, there's also this one's in the patch notes anyway. There's one of the hairstyles is missing, so you occasionally get a mismatch like that. But that's still in development, so we're well aware of the issues and what's missing, so we'll get to that and fix that as part of Alpha twenty two. Okay, all right, let's have a look through uh, the patch notes. So just bear with me a second. Oh, that's, uh, no, no. What culture are we at, 157, that's too late. Uh, so if you're listening now, I've, I mean I covered this earlier, but if you're listening to Tweeting Birds, so you can remove those, a bit easier if I take the soundtrack down. Okay. There are obviously all the changes from the other streams that I've shared, so, you know, actually that's a good thing to test. Let's go ahead and Yes, Petal. Find out. Okay. The beastman should not. Right away. Let's go and hire Sir Gregory. On my way. Uh, oh, that's another thing. You can now set the portrait as well in the conversation node. Although the implementation is going to be changing, so consider yourself hired. You called. Your orders. Let's go mob handed. Ta ta. Try, try and take out some beastmen. So beastmen should no longer drop um, uber right there, epic gear. Busy, busy, busy. Really? All right, dear. Right away. Okay. Okay. Our village is under attack. So these are the hit animations that are now in. All right. Nothing to see here. Go to the front again. A woman's work is never done. Prepare to die. I ain't no damsel. Time for a bruising. Let's make sure we've got the aggro. Take the pig. Take the pig. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so in terms of loot, you see it's it's much more simple loot now. Uh, I'm surprised there's not an axe in there actually. Let's maybe go and try. And... Ready to serve. Busy, busy, busy. All right, dear. Right away. For our people. <laughs> Never yeah, okay, so instead of tree bane, so the, I think the most it'll drop is um, the mightier axe. Which, well, it's 20, but I, don't, I still don't think it's better what than What would you have me sword. do? Oh, no, it is. <clears throat> um, as I was saying, in terms of props, if I equip this now, it probably won't show correctly because he hasn't got the right animations. So you shouldn't, we need to lock it down so that. So Gregory only uses swords and you can't equip him with axes and things like that. Because then every um, profession and hero has uh, a desired weapon type. So when you find a weapon, you know that it's going to be for Sir Gregory or something like that. So it just makes it a little easier. Okay, chat. I need to catch up on chat. Let's have a quick look. Oh, sorry about that. So I've missed quite a few questions 
I'm excited for that information. You might have to post which information again. Uh, when the character designer comes along later, will portraits reflect the characters we create? Yes, they will. That's a nice, easy question to answer. Uh, will there be portraits for only heroes or for all characters, even spies as such? The chances are that we are going to have to create portraits for every Standing ready. Uh, monster that's in the game. The reason for that is... You guys. Because you'll no doubt want to put in there a talking beetle or wolf or something like that. So we have to make sure that there's a portrait available for them. Oh, that was an easy, easy one to answer as well. Uh, did you lock some rarity with your own tier? I'm not quite sure I understand that. Uh, if you could elaborate a little bit on that. Will there be movement indicators on the civics menu to show direction a stat is moving? Yeah, we discussed that actually in terms of whether the last tick was negative or positive. And so I think that's likely to be something that we'll add. I guess the vegetables, oh dear, I didn't set them to vegetables, did I? There we go. Oh, right, okay, yeah, so we'll have a look at that uh, in terms of portraits. So uh, let's go ahead now and turn on Workbench and go and actually have a look. It's a bit messy at the moment, so you end up with spaghetti code. Uh, where is it? So here. <clears throat> Just to explain a little bit of what's going on, we've got a start, the start of the script, and then I instantiate Sir Gregory at his starting point, and then the output of that is a, char a, a, a character and that can be fed into different conversations nodes. As I say, the implementation of this will be uh, changing most likely in Alpha 22, so just be aware of that before you go and invest too much time into doing this. But if you want to set the portrait, so grab um, your character. I think you can also possibly use spawn character as well. Yes, you can, so the result, just do a colour match, you've got purple and purple. Uh, and then you can feed that into the conversation and that will uh, display the correct portrait. Villagers are in need of basic clothing. Okay, so that's... Uh, the default is the advisor. And then if you set it to anything else, then... Uh, now actually, I think the reason why it was done like that was also if you create a human... We need to be able to pass in their portrait information so that the portrait draws correctly. Because there's no reason why you couldn't have an NPC stood around, I know, so in a village somewhere here, for example, and you want them to be talking to you. In which case, we need to pass it in. So I, I need to have a conversation with um, the team about that. So that actually, the next thing. So the. Uh, the other nodes that I want to get in for Alpha 22 are the quest rewards and have those appear in dialogue, so that's going to be key. Um, I think some of the ones that we've added, let me just scroll down the list. Uh, so we have set allegiance, so you can now actually, well, you can see that what I'm doing there. So <clears throat> essentially, what I'm saying is that when you have either paid Sir Gregory uh, or completed or got the item that is requested of you, we can set his allegiance and change him from being neutral uh, to being friendly. Uh, we also had console, so if you watched the, uh, if you watched the an earlier stream, we can actually run one of the console commands, which might be, uh, I can't remember what the time, the time value is. It's, it's not that, but let's say it's that. So you can actually execute a console command. Uh, instantiate character at, which is what I'm doing here, which is instead of spawn points. You can also do add attribute points. Uh, so <clears throat> you could take the target. So I could take Sir Gregory here. I'd have to run it as well. And I could say I want to add five. Oh, I can't edit it because we're in the player. I need to be in the editor, really. But I can say add five vitality points, and then I could probably do like a heal. Uh, uh, well, I could do a console command and then heal him. 
I think character health is more of a stat. So if we could, what we could do is we could again feed Sir Gregory in, and then we have um, a stat that we can use. So we could say greater than. Uh, I don't know if his health is greater than I don't know, 50 or something. Right, might have put it then right one. Then you know I can I say a Wenfield. <clears throat> Oops. And then I can do something based on his health. What else have we got? Character health. Camera move is an instant placement. Uh, it instantly relocates the camera. It's not ideal at the moment. Uh, in tw Alpha 22, I want to have exact positioning of the camera. So instead of having to feed in a, a, a position node into it, Seems to be getting it for some reason. Why can't that? I, oh, I wonder why they're coloured the same. I guess it needs to be some sort of object. Interesting. Or maybe I can't set that in in. Um, well, and now I can't get back. There we go. Okay. Why I can't set that? All right, that might. That's a bug. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> that's from position the camera. Uh, I think I uh, shared that last stream. Uh, we also have instantiate building at, so you can actually create a non-human building. Uh, and I was messing around with that in the swamp map. One of the latest ones we have is character to world object, which is a conversion. Uh, Let's just get rid of that, that, and that. So if we actually wanted to kill Sir Gregory, or remove him from the world, sorry, we could uh, convert the character to a world object, and then we can use the destroy node, and that takes an object. I'd have to run it, but uh, I'd have to do something like that. And that enables you to remove a character from the world. So let's say you had an ambush where a character was in disguise, then you could display one character in the human form, like or their villager form, and then when the trap is sprung, you can remove them from the game and swap in, I don't know, a goblin or something like that. <clears throat> uh, I'm probably missing lots of questions, so let me just pause quickly and go back. Uh, Any way to clear stumps around woodcutter huts? Not only do they take up room uh, for new growth, but also additional building options from what I've observed. I think they can be cleared now in... Uh, so the, the big ones especially, uh, you can place buildings on top of them. And, and they'll, be, they'll be removed. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, I also noticed that they were plant saplings on roads and such that may need it to be adjusted. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah, we don't really want them planting trees on roads. Oh, I, all right, I wouldn't. I just wondered if you did or what you did to lock Epic being dropped in, in later tiers, like in tier three. Uh, well, the, the whole loot system is going to have to change. Um, and it's going to have to so all of the loot is going to have to change and the loot system is going to have to change so that loot essentially scales with both your village and your hero, your group of heroes uh, information about Alpha 21 wiping things I didn't say anything about Alpha 21 wiping anything all I oh, I think it was probably this, so just bear in mind that the character portrait system will potentially change because it creates spaghetti junction, like you can see here with wires going everywhere. It's pretty ugly, so we need a cleaner implementation of that. So don't invest too much time into setting up um, the correct portrait for all your dialogues and everything. Just be aware of that. Will peasants occasionally talk to each other 
or interact in other ways. Uh, sure, it's just cosmetic. Yeah, I'd like to have them so that they stopped and maybe had a conversation, but you know, you also want them working as well, so it wouldn't be certain, it would only be under certain conditions. Possibly at evening time as well, so that we have different behaviours going on at night time. Um, but villagers certainly will say more than they are. They're rather quiet at the moment, up, other than please? when you select them, but they will be much more alive uh, and saying stuff. Okay, good. I am up to date on questions. Fantastic. I'll do a quick time check. Good. All right, so any questions that you guys have got or anything that you want me to look at? Uh, oh, one other node that we've got, I'm just looking at my list, is character alive, which just tells you if a character is uh, alive or dead. I'm not totally sure. Oh, right, yeah, that's for quest, um, quest completion, I think. So if you've got like a bounty and you want to work out whether somebody has been killed or not, so that's useful for that. Uh, I mentioned about the gate as well. So a gate now has a default open at start value. So you don't have to keep on feeding something into it. That should reduce the node count. All right. So yeah, so if you guys have got any more questions that you would like answered, then please ask me now. Uh, otherwise, I am going to wrap up the stream. The reason being is that I'm hoping that we can get um, Alpha 21 out with the next day or two. So I want to crack on with that. I've got some work to do on that. Um, so, oh, we've got a question coming in. Okay, so will the game be on sale during the Steam sales? I was wondering what size the, what size the team is working on. Photo right. Okay, that's like two questions. So, um, yes, the game will be on sale during the Steam sale. So the last sale that we ran um, didn't give us as much funding as I was hoping for. So while while we've used that money to hire um, a program that is working on the uh, terrain stuff that I showed earlier in the stream, we need more funding to be able to pay for more, um, more program time and, and hire additional people. So, yes, it will be on sale. In, when is it? I don't know. I'm sure if you search the... Um, the web anyway you'll find the, the start of the steam sale because I think it was late and the second question is what is the size of the team so there are eight of us uh, what is the node that allows you to kill a specific character uh, well the, the way you would do that is you would uh, just apply damage so uh, character damage I think it's called so you would feed in a character, so for example, Sir Gregory, uh, and just tell it to run, and then you would just apply like, I don't know, 50,000 damage to them and they would instantly die. All right. So, where's my, where's my list? Hang on, my other list. Uh, I'll also mention what we're going to be working on for Alpha 22. Uh, this is by no means confirmed because priorities can change throughout the month. We want to add in Willow, uh, who is the Glade Folk uh, hero. She's a healer, so that will be a second hero to go with Sir Gregory. Uh, we also need to add in the Glade Folk, so there's Nara. Uh, and there are the Spriggans, and there are the Forest Imps, so there are a whole bunch of characters there to add in. Uh, I want to get better control of the camera, so I can actually go, in the editor I can go in and actually position the camera exactly where I want it, and then I can go into Workbench and say, right, uh, capture a snapshot of the camera position from the current camera position in the world, and this is a bug as well, right, the sides of positions off um, yeah so better control of that uh, more withering I think we've got oh no Mordric's not in at the moment 
And Lilith is not fully set up as a hero either. Uh, work on the store location, so I've got to get to work on uh, Mordric's um, sandal factory. Uh, I will most likely stream that those level design sessions, so feel free to join me um, at various times throughout the week for that. Let's see. Uh, we may work on portals so that we can start connecting maps together. I think that would be pretty cool. And the Unity 5 migration as well. Uh, and hopefully that will give us uh, a decent performance boost on some machines. All right, so uh, Jay Brar is uh, character alive. It is what detects whether a character is alive or dead, and then you can feed that into a quest. Um, so you can just say like when. Uh, oops, oh, no, when not. You have to put the inverse in there. So when they're not alive, and you'd run it. Let's like start. And then you could do something like quest complete or something. Uh, I guess it'd be a quest part. Uh, actually, no, you wouldn't do that. You would just feed that into the pass condition. So you do something like that. How far out are portals? Uh, they are on the list. It's just... Uh, depend. That's one of the things that has got an unknown length, uh, a duration to it. So it may be reasonably quick. It, it really depends an awful lot on the stability of low save, which is why we spent a lot of time getting that nice and stable. Um, because we obviously need to be able to snapshot the current level that you're in and the state of that and then be able to load in a new level and then be able to later return to the, that saved uh, save state. So we're in a good position for it, but there's various UI and, and, and things like that. So that's that's definitely something that I want to work on because we, can, we need that to be able to deliver the first faction store line. So that will definitely be happening sooner rather than later. Okay. Well, guys, uh, if we've got no more questions, then I'm going to wrap up the stream. Uh, just a short one, given that, as I say, I need to get cracking with Alpha 21 and get that out of the door. Um, so thanks very much for joining us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're excited about some of the content and changes um, that I've shared with you. Uh, and have a great day. And I will no doubt chat with you in the forums in the coming days.